Hello. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, one second. I'm Ron, I know. Uh, can you say something, Sam? I got to set my sound up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Can you guys Perfect. hear us? Is it a new video? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So I think this is working now. Yep. Looks like it is. What's up, guys? Apologies for the mishap. I think we got it working now. All right. Yes. Can we get a confirmation? Highlight fall. Hi, a G97. <laughs> Is that so who you're Mike, I, I just see Mike Harrison. Uh, I need to refresh, maybe. Yeah. There's Lila. All right. They can hear. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Apologies. Yeah. Yeah. We are back. All right. Well, here's, I mean, I guess. Finish, finish your Red Bull? Take another. Oh, it's uh, I got another sip or two in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna take another airs hit though because I feel like uh, our counters got wiped clean. We're back to zero. There you go. What's up, guys? You guys can hear that. That's one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> this usually means you're about to take a rip. How's everybody liking their heiress? Let us know. All right, here we go. Yep, we're back. Thanks again, guys. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I don't know what happened, but we fixed it. All right. Mm. Eating up. Eats up super quick. Say on average, like 15, 20 seconds. Check this out. I have to talk. I got to talk for the camera to show me. One on my clouds. Edward, you got to get one, man. Come to the event. We got another launch party next Saturday. But yeah, let's let's backtrack a bit because we got kind of got interrupted. I was uh, I wanted to hear a little more about the uh, New York event. Um, Start back at the top. Yeah. The New York event was great. Um, a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of people got to try the Harris for the first time. Uh, we had a huge turnout. There's like 300 people there, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, good good energy, good hash. Yeah, I saw there were some attachments. There were some su surprises. Yeah, and Joey and Prosper, man, one day. The guy got his Harris, and one day he uh, – he, he made a attachment um, that worked like well, really well. Um, and they're, you know, going to keep getting better and there'll be all different kinds of designs and stuff. But yeah, I made something that. in like 24 hours. That, that's amazing. You know, I'm just constantly impressed by what the community is doing and, you know, like how much uh, interaction and creativity there is. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was really cool because, like, I saw it on his story, like, 
hours before and then it just appeared in front of me but um it, it worked great <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, one of my favorite features is the magnet. I, I don't know. I don't think the attachment, you know, quite took advantage of that. But so he made it, it, it was, you know, glass directly onto the IntelliCore atomizer and it gripped around the base of mm -hmm. the IntelliCore. Mm -hmm. And um, it worked well. Um, we will have more things to facilitate attachments coming. But uh, just to let people know that, but it, it did function well. And yeah. All right. So, Sam, um, can I ask you, when do you use your Eris? Uh, I mean, right now I'm using it all the time. Um, so, you know, like I'm using it at my desk, I'm using it. Um, at home, I'm using it on my couch. Uh, you know, um, I've seen a lot of cool use cases. You know, uh, acid raindrops using it on the mountain. There's been a couple of people using it on on the mountain, which is a great place for an heiress. Oh yeah, we, I mean near near perfect, right? That's like kind of one of the more ideal scenarios when you would need a very like compact powerful hard hitting sort of like device is when you're on a ski lift or something and you got you know five or ten minutes we were to, talking about it the other day like this the ski lift is like that problem hasn't been solved you know <laughs> like like right. it really hasn't been until now mm -hmm. like you know i mean you, you can like hit a bowl in your jacket you know like we've all done that but it, doesn't really work great you know it's much better to like pull up onto the side of the mountain find some trees and spark up a J. you know little, but now little, now little you can yeah safety meeting you're good to go on this on the ski lift with the airs it's perfect for that yeah um you know i also think like festivals you know concerts music festivals any kind of like event where you might need a little bit more just you know to exercise a little bit of discretion you don't want a big loud you know light up water bubbling sort of thing attracting you know the wrong kind of eyes and at the same time um you know super durable right like it can slip into your fanny pack or your backpack you don't have to worry about it spilling or or tipping or breaking yeah i was at the rush i was at a restaurant uh two nights ago and i was i busted it out um and depending on the restaurant if, if they're cool you know it's good mm -hmm. for because it really doesn't create like you know so, a lot of smell and right. um you know who doesn't want to take a nice dab after eating a, a good meal you know yeah, right, right before for me that like that's the hardest part is like you know after you order your drinks but before the main course arrives you yeah, need... you like a little a little smoke before you eat oh i mean i like a little smoke anytime but uh i think right before you eat is one of, is, is a great time of course of course I, lately i've been i like smoking more after, after you know I was, I was reading something about that too i guess it's um it's good to mix it up too you know um i used like, to settles your stomach a little bit you're like yeah yeah and like eating like some dessert, people, dad dessert. yeah some people think that like eating can like kill kill your buzz a little bit um make it a little less effective but yeah and also if you're in, at an establishment where maybe there's like already a lot of smells going on like you're if you're at a korean so, barbecue they have the, the yeah, air vents exactly. <laughs> or i was also like you know like a hookah bar or like anywhere that is maybe outdoors or, or smoke friendly to begin with Let's make public dabbing like uh, an acceptable thing in society. Look, I mean, uh, well, why not? We have smoke cons cigarettes outside. And, yeah. All right, I'm going in again. 
Uh, we got we got high rise in the chat. What's up, guys? How you liking the heiress? Where are you guys smoking your heiress? Let us know. Yeah, what's the most what's like the most creative? What's what's the place where you're like, oh, this is like so perfect for where I'm at right now? Right. Like for us, it was like that ski lift scenario. Um, but where else would you need, you know, if you got like a 15 minute lunch break and you got in your cars, you know, in a structure across the street or something? Um, you know, maybe you got to like run, run to your car real quick and. Comedy store. That's fun. A comedy. That's, that's a great, that's a great place. A comedy club. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice one. I think like just generally traveling, like any kind of travel where like you don't have a lot of space to hold a lot of things. Yeah, and, and like when you just want to simplify stuff because like dabbing can get so convoluted, you know, you have like all these tools and then cleaners and then accessories and then cleaners for the accessories and then tools to clean the cleaners or whatever it's uh hmm. it's just a lot of stuff and and i just love the simplicity of being able to throw this in like a in a pack and know that i can dab basically anywhere whenever it's great this would definitely go in my bug out bag I'm, I'm I'm going home tonight, and I'm putting one of these in my. That's so your I'm, your shoulder <laughs> bag that you wear. Um, <clears throat> like the, the backup to that bag. No, so there's I mean there's different bags. You got your get home bag, and then you got your bug out bag. Um, a bug out bag is really kind of more of a. It's more of like an exercise in in fantasy prepping where. I mean, if if you're in a situation where you have to bug out, like meaning leave oh, everything, just, it's just going wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the your bug out bag usually has some like really intense survival stuff, uh, you know, security stuff, and like long term, you know, uh, tools. Your get home bag is something that you everybody should have in the trunk of their car, you know, in case there's any kind of situation like an earthquake or something that happens, and you just need to get home. You know, uh, maybe it's a 10 mile walk what should, what should people keep in their get home bag that's a great question uh first thing i'm gonna say is an heiress and like like three grams of rosin because i mean that that'll get me just about anywhere <laughs> and if not you know it'll it'll definitely get you some friends and maybe catch a ride somewhere but maybe something um, to barter with yeah yeah no but <laughs> Um, no, but in seriousness, like uh, a, a snack, some water, um, you know, uh, a, a good knife, some cordage, uh, an extra pair of socks, just things that, you know, might, you, you just need to be able to survive for the next day, you know, till you get home where all the rest of your stuff is. So it doesn't have to be any like uh, really like long-term kind of items, but. Well. Yeah, definitely get an heiress for your get home bag. Yeah. And for your bug out bag. And, and for, for your, your backpack like back and for your pocket <laughs> and for and your office and your bedside table. Yep. Just just start stockpiling heiresses. You never know. What's your, what's your favorite feature, guys? If you had to narrow it to one, is it the removable battery? Is I mean, it that's the uh, IntelliCore atomizer? I know it's Is hard it to get the Bluetooth capability or just the mouthpiece in general. What's your favorite feature, JR? Oh, um, I think I said it was the magnets for sure. <laughs> Harnessing an elemental force of nature 
to keep my lid on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> magnets are great. Magnets are cool. We Mag use more magnets in the battery as well to help it connect. So even if it's not locked, it's on there and you can click it in to secure it. But the magnet helps align it and just tuck it in nice and neat. I think it just adds a lot to the tactile experience, you know. Um, I think a good device should just work and, you know, things should just fall into place. And this is like quite literally a physical representation of things just falling into the place they need to be. Um, <clears throat> I know we, uh, what else we got in store? I think we got some. We got the Dab Anywhere contest going on right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Like, we're literally going to send somebody to Spain. Yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, Dab Anywhere contest uh, is ongoing. The winner is going to be announced on February 7th. Included in the prize is a plane ticket to Spain, tickets to Spanibus, tickets to all the events that we'll be going to, Dabadoo, Legends of Hash. Um, I mean, pretty much like the ultimate weed trip. Yeah. And you can enter by posting a video, uh, ripping your Carta or your Eris and hashtagging Dab anywhere. Simple as that. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I know a lot of people, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, look at, at cannabis in the industry and like how far it's come. Um, but the fact that you can take a device as cool as this and uh, just take a hit and use a hashtag and that can win you a, a trip to Spain is, is just kind of insane. Great, great world that we're living in. Yeah, and and not to mention not just any trip to Spain, but a trip to Spain to like go do all like, and to like, hang out with us. Yeah, international <laughs> cannabis stuff that you could think of. Yeah, and Spanibus probably is the my favorite, at least, trade show in the industry currently, and just has been holding it down for so long too which you got to respect you know mm -hmm. the tenure <clears throat> but it's a great mix of like real like you know people conducting business and like you know um a lot of like variety from like the seed companies that are set up to grow companies devices like actual cannabis brands a lot of hash brands out there um and just like a festival vibe you know, where people are like hanging out and having a good time. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've never been to Spain, but from what I hear, you know, they know how to have a good time. They do. Barcelona is a great city. All right. Well, I'm going to take another hit. Um, <clears throat> The, the response we've been getting on Eris has been amazing. Uh, thank you, everybody, for all the support and, you know, positive feedback. Yes, definitely. Super fun watching people use the device. Yes, out of stock. Eris is out of stock. Nine days. It's uh, been nine days since we released it, but they'll be they'll be back soon. Yeah, I told you guys, response was good. <clears throat> we will have them in February. Oh, I'll say. Oh, god. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take a dab of some haze. This is a Jersey brand that we sell at Hashery.
Whew. All right. It's always the third one. Oh, didn't Terrence McKenna say that? It's like, oh. Three times, knock you out. No, some about three hits, second three hits. <laughs> my favorite feature is that it rips. A town. That's yeah. probably my favorite feature too, actually. Like I got the dab sweat. Sorry, you guys. Are... <laughs> She's a ripper. Um. You're welcome for the heiress, smoking things. <laughs> my my favorite feature is also that it rips. That's a good good call. So I take back what I said earlier. Magnets are cool, but taking fat rips is cooler. Uh heiress batteries will be back in February also. <clears throat> Those went super quick and Quicker than we thought, but it makes sense. Um, battery is just one of the best features, also. So, <clears throat> I'd really recommend people invest in another battery if they're using the device a lot. Oh yeah. I mean, it's 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 kind of like uh, you know your cordless drill. You always want to keep a spare battery pack. So you can be charging one. You don't have to wait for it to charge if you want to dab. You know? Yeah. And that's like your normal use case. And then it's like if you're traveling and you can't charge it, you know, you definitely I mean, there, want to have some batteries. Yeah. Like there, there's some battery packs that just allow you to remove them. And there's some battery packs that are just intended to be swapped and, and you know, have like a high sort of cycle. Uh, count. Um, we put a lot of work into the lock and the retention mechanism on on this thing, and I think that it helps uh, make it a very usable battery pack. How do we get to win one tonight, says Sheen? That's you, Sam. That's your department. <laughs> You have to stay tuned, but and, and you know some tags and and uh, hashtag dab anywhere probably wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> we uh got a guest joining. We do. Should we bring one in? I think so. Uh, so let's see. You want to uh, do the intro? We have a very special guest introducing a rising star at show. <laughs> Minty. Timothy. Oh, your Thank mic's you. off. <laughs> Sorry. Can you guys hear me now? Minty likes no audio. <laughs> What's up, Minty? Hi, Minty? Hi. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. I'm good. How are you guys? Well, I've uh, seen you guys all day. We've been talking. Yeah, yeah. So more of the same. Um <clears throat> But we're here to talk about you, I think. Oh, me. We got, we got some questions for you, Minty. Me? Yeah, I think the people the people want to know. What do they want to know? I got a lot of questions for you. <laughs> maybe maybe start, uh, just like kind of introduce yourself, uh, a little bit about what you do for show and, you know, maybe just in, in life in general, in general. Yeah, so I'm Minty also known as Minty Puffs on Instagram, follow me, you know. <laughs> but I'm a content producer here at Show Company, so I make a variety of different content for Focus V, Ross and Tech Labs, uh, Masterminded, and yeah. 
I'm really loving it here at show. So what is, far, it, what is your favorite thing about the job? <laughs> that I get to uh, that I get to smoke weed, you know, that I get paid to make videos of myself smoking weed. It's pretty sick. You don't get to say that you do that for work, you know. It is it is a good perk. <laughs> you can get high at work at show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, speaking of <laughs> yeah. Just got it. I have to, you know, just for, back up for, you know, in case this one dies. That's a that's great. You know, in your <clears throat> you should always have a backup. Uh two is one and one is none. Um okay, so that's fun. So how did you so you like smoking weed at work? Uh I think we all do. Yeah. How did you um start in cannabis or maybe tell us about your cannabis history a little bit? I actually started in cannabis not too long ago, like around a year and a half ago. I just barely turned 22. Did I turn? Yeah, I yeah, I just barely turned 22, so I haven't been legal for that long to be able to work in the cannabis industry for that long. Um, I started as a bud tender, as I feel like a lot of people in the cannabis space starts. I was able to grow a lot of my knowledge through bud tending. You know, also like just understand what like consumers want from like their brands what they want from their packaging what they want from their products so it's like really cool to be able to be in marketing now after like being like learning all of that and being able to take in all of that and deal like face to face with the customer base and then it's actually so crazy because april of last year was when i bought my first focus v product just be like I did my research on the market. I was like, what are all the different e-rigs out there? Like, what's going to be worth my money? And this was like before I knew anybody in the cannabis space. And to think like I would have never thought that I would be able to work at the company where I did so much research on, you know, to buy the device and learn about it. So I remember like running like, your way on, on the team. I, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> I remember meeting Lee at an event and she had um, set like sent me a saber after I had created some videos of um, the Carta 2 because I was just like so in love with it. I bought the mint colorway because, you know, minty, minty fresh, you know. <laughs> and then I was making videos of that. And then like, um, uh, I, I remember she sent me too. your IG and she was like, oh, this girl makes some good reels with the Carta 2. <laughs> Yeah, that's so crazy to think that now I'm on the team, you know, like from buying a colorway a Carta 2 to being able to, you know, help launch a whole colorway was pretty sick. You had that motorcycle video. You were ripping it. Yeah. 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 Motorcycle. It was Destiny. I mean, it, it was it was like mint, right? It was like yeah. mint Carta. Yeah. You know, just like... Uh, <clears throat> Shout out to anybody named Forrest out there who might be looking for their break in the cannabis industry. <laughs> do what Minty did and take the sign from the universe that uh, Focus V is a great place to work. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's cool. You want to see if maybe anyone in chat has some questions for us? Um, I know we do have another guest incoming, but uh, let me see. I got the card of two. I I wasn't really much of a dabber when the OG card came out. I was just barely getting to learn, you know, what a torch was and the different kind of concentrates and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I would say I learned a lot within, you know, a couple of here here quick study yeah i agree i try minty's super talented yeah you you've been you've been crushing it stop <laughs> you know my head big <clears throat> all right well let's see who do we have coming up next all right i believe we have Lila. 
All right. Can we get, uh, I know we're a bit uh, impromptu with the stream, but see if we can get her in here. Maybe. Uh, she says she's in the waiting room. Okay. Let's see. Uh, is she still on the other platform? No, she she's on this one. I sent her the link to the new one. I don't see anyone in the in the room. There she is. There she is. All right. <clears throat> Hey. Hi. What's I'm up? Welcome. How are you doing? You How are you doing? Thanks for joining the live. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Um, you have a nice setting. You got a nice backdrop. Yeah, I live stream myself on TikTok. So I'm used this is usually my like setup over here. So I I'm love used, it. It's pretty. You can see my card box in the back, my air. So I just added that. back. It's like <laughs> That's my like manifestation wall. So it's all coming in the picture. I love it. <laughs> we were just talking about manifesting. Both sides are cool. I like I like the other side too. Yeah, it's like everywhere you go in, like the ceiling also has uh like a tapestry up there. I can't show you because it's like doesn't go up that high, but like every angle has like its own POV, so it's cool. But I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. I got my Harris. Yeah. Uh, and oh, the, you got both the card and, and the I have the mint too. I wanted to say like minty, yeah, mint gang. Shout out. Oh, I remember we both brought it to an event. Yes, and I did that yes. one before I worked at Focus V too. That's crazy. Wow, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Because we were both like, oh, yeah. <laughs> breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs that you be in the same colorway exactly. in the wild. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep, yep. It all came together. It was awesome to see the lab today and like the whole warehouse, the whole setup. Like I was yeah, surprised yeah, I saw, to see how big everything is. Yeah, it's like huge in there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm glad you got to see it. Yeah, it's cool how it's like right next door. You know. Yeah, everything's like right connected. Like the warehouse is right there. The lab's right there. Like everything is connected. And there's like maybe 15 people like doing it all, which is crazy it's crazy like you guys really are doing something super dope yeah thank see, you you got to see uh, the rosin the that you were gonna smoke you know get made i got a couple what'd you get i got the so hum og nice and then the lemonosa lemosa nice. oh i love lemosa <laughs> i think i'm gonna do that one that's a good I haven't tried this one yet, so let me, I'll put this one in the Eris. What temp do you guys do on your Eris? I like the green setting. Just it depends. Green. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, it's like kind of mood-based. Um, green and purple are my go-tos. Purple's a little more direct and to the point, which I think Eris is good for, but, uh, it's also great for like low temp dabs, you know. Blue is nice for tasting. Um, yeah, I love taste like white thorn rose on blue on the eras. Amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> white thorn rose might be like the next level. That shit. I tried the edible. Oh my gosh. That was the best tasting edible I think I've ever had. It, it's so like floral yeah. perfumey. I think mine's on 425. I went to the app. I just put it good for you that's good nice. I always go to the app right? make sure that uh everything's updated and customized to your liking i'll take a dab with you yeah me too so lila <laughs> thanks again for joining us i think we had a couple topics prepared um One of them is kind of basic. We sort of just went over it with Minty, but it would, it's a little bit about maybe your connection with cannabis or just some history about, <clears throat> you know, how, how cannabis has 
uh, played a part in your life? Well, unlike Minty, um, I was kind of a degenerate growing up. So <laughs> I've been smoking for a really long time. Um, I smoked in college. I smoked in high school. I smoked definitely before you could, but I'm from New York, so it's different out there. Um, it was a lot less access. It was, you know, more of a like, oh, we can't get it, so we need to have it type thing, you know? Um, but um, I started yeah. using it medicinally in, I think it was 2018. Um, I was struggling with like chronic nausea that I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. So I went to a doctor and they were like, oh, it's this, that, this and that. And then my friend uh, referred me to a like marijuana doctor out there who like gets you the medical card. And that was my first like introduction to like the medical side of it. In New York, it was like tinctures only. Like it was like a tincture topicals only type thing. But I felt like having the medical like kind of supported my use of it. Um, Cause I was still just smoking flour at that point. Um, but I really got introduced to dabs when I moved out here. Um, I had my first dab. I, th I don't even know if it was on like a device or something. I don't, I don't remember, but, um, I remember my first. What year was it? We could probably guess based on what year it was. Mm, I want to say it was 2021 or 2020. All right. So it could have um, been a device. It could have been. A, yeah. I, that's what I'm thinking. It could have been a device, but I don't know. Um, I was just like one of those times someone was like, oh, you want to do it? I was like, I guess. Um, but my first time taking like an actual dab was a carded dab at Strains and Sounds. And that's when I was like, oh shit, this is like, this is like a real thing. Like, this is like a real like machine. Like, I didn't know that they had all this technology. So it was really cool to see and like have that access. Um, but yeah. You said, like, I need that now. <laughs> I know now. Like, it's come so full circle. I was just telling Minty earlier, like, at, in that interaction, like meeting Lee and like meeting the team, like at the event, and took one of those um, Carta Two stickers that you guys had. They were like the black Carta Two in a sticker, and I put it on my vision board like a month later. And then three or four months later, I got the card. I got the Carta Two. So nice. it's like an act of manifestation really came forth with Focus View. So that's that's kind of like the roundabout version of my introduction to cannabis. But now I'm kind of just trying to like normalize the usage, especially with moms. Um, like I'm a mom, I'm a young mom. And I think normalizing like everyday use of the plant, especially when it's not only recreational, like yeah, it's fun, but medicinally, like the use is so necessary and, and needed in my everyday life. So that's really what my focus what, is. What cured the, the nausea like the best? Um, Honestly, regular, honestly moving here and having like real flower, like not because i felt like in new york it may have been processed through someone somewhere like you don't know where it really came from you don't know how it was grown but when i came here i had access to like flour i knew where it was coming from like source mm -hmm. good ingredient like indoor out whatever like i had more access to that um indicas really have helped me um in like kind of like managing my symptoms anytime i have something like high in like sativa terpenes like those like those um like the citrus ones um those kind of aggravate my stomach a little bit but the like more indica leaning stuff has really helped me and supported me dab now have like helped me so much more like discovering how like to take like um like the dosage i want to say like of like how to help myself like even before i got on the live i was like oh my god i need to take a dab because i'm gonna like i'm freaking out you know and it took like just a little mini one and it was like okay that helped me like chill the same level level yeah. 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 yeah i felt that that is the thing right it is a very effective way to you know um, take the edge measure. off yeah and i mean it's just a really quick way to to elevate those like blood levels and you know yeah. things like cbg and you know some of the you know, like indica terpenes, like linalool and Mercine. Mercine yeah. is one of my a lot of those have really like mm. powerful, powerful medicinal benefits. And that's great that, you know, you're able to kind of have everything come full circle. And now you have a card of two, you can put your next manifestation, uh, you can upload it as a screensaver on your card of two. <gasps> oh my God, yes. Oh my gosh, big brain. Yeah. That, 
yes, you're thinking in 2040, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I can't wait. No, this is. I'm actually gonna take my thousandth dab on stream wow. today. I'm at oh, nine nine nine. I'm holding out. I've been oh, waiting for the perfect opportunity. I think this is the perfect opportunity, right? Hey, okay. you gotta take nice. a fat one. How momentous! Yeah. This is do a double dab. My nine Carta nine nine. Harris. On my Carta. We're a thousand is a nice number to hit. I know. <laughs> I was in New York and I hit nine nine nine. I was like. Fuck. Now I, that was like a month ago. I was like, I have to go home. I have to make a video. I have to like get ready. So I haven't taken a dab on my card in a minute, but no perfect time than now. Yeah. So I, I used my my preferred setting used to be like four hundred and forty four degrees for <gasps> forty four seconds, and there was you know I mean I I, I go through several cards, but when I get it right around four hundred and forty four dabs. Uh, first of all, I, I make sure that the the preset I like is preset four. Or preset is preset four. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> yeah, love that. And the sex preset is preset four. And then when I get to the four hundred forty fourth dab, I uh, make sure I charge it to forty four percent because I don't oh know. So when, do you take a picture every time? I do. I do. No, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I only do it for that photo for for the, for the picture. But. I missed my card. Right. Yeah. There you go. Woo! Congrats. Nice. There should be like a celebration screen that comes up when you hit like a thousand. Yeah. Yes. It, we're we're working on that. Big um, brain. Yeah, we will. You know, there's a lot of uh, interactive badges. Yeah. Oh some yeah. Stuff that we got going. But uh, remind everybody again where they can find you uh, online. Like your, you want to plug your IG or any socials or any websites? Yeah, I'm Lila West Coast on everything, so that makes it easy. Um, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram. Um, I'm on here. I'm on YouTube too. Um, I usually just repost my TikTok lives. So if you want to see what that's about, like the readings and all that, that's on there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of everywhere. Also, you probably see me at the party too. I'm going to the launch party next weekend. All Super right. excited for that. Yeah, you better be there. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> launch party. LA. Biggies. 27th. Yep. Sam, you coming? Yep. Of course. Period. I'll be there. Oh, JR, you're going? Oh, of course. Come on. <laughs> Well, oh yeah, of course. Events, so I'm just asking. I'm just making. I'm gonna, sure. put, I'm gonna put real shoes on and everything. Oh wow, I love yeah, that. Real shoes, real shoes, and, and everything. Sneakers. I'm just saying. I'm gonna bedazzle my um, heiress. Uh, hopefully, I'll finish it by then. Um, because I'm sorry, the black is too black. <laughs> <laughs> it's too manly for me. I need something a little more. I knew someone was gonna bedazzle their heiress. <laughs> You know, the, the great part is uh, it's real modular, so you never know what kind of accessories and combos we'll be able to come up with next. Pink. 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 We hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll uh, you, or, you know, maybe we'll, we can Photoshop uh, a, a heiress into a pink heiress, and then we'll upload that onto your, uh, onto your card, too. Oh shit! Yeah, we'll work, yep. on, we'll work on that together. Yeah. Okay. So. But this so, is my other strength over. If you're looking for me on Instagram, <laughs> that's what my picture is. <laughs> I love the screensaver feature. I think that's my favorite of having a car. Uh, that's it. It's really sells a lot of people. I think. I love that. That's your picture. That's like your signature image in my head. Yep. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great. Uh, the the screensaver is kind of a great example of how you know how personalized you can really make your device. But my favorite thing to do, especially at events when I'm like showing people and giving people dabs is I'll, uh, I'll give them a fat dab and I'll take their, and I'll take their picture and then I'll upload it <clears throat> to the Carta and I'll leave it on there for like the whole rest of the day. <clears throat> and I'll usually do it to like the people that I like, you know, give the fattest dabs to. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice way to commemorate, you know, the, the the dab damage that I, I do sometimes with the Carta too, but um, 
Yeah, you could put your logo on there. You could put your pet on there. Yeah, I think that's the coolest thing. I think what's the best selling colorway? What do you think it is? What do I think it is? Mm -hmm. I think it's clear because it's badass. So that shit looks dope. Um, but the board. Well, you can't even real clear isn't really a color. One of the colorways, you know, it's like its own. And okay, it okay. It's, it's, you're definitely right. It's the most like in demand. It's probably okay, like, okay. Because we make know. less of them, so they're kind of more scarce, you know. So it's okay. It is. It sense. is limited. It is limited to like retail shops. It's a, you know. Support. Well, we have done some uh, retail online drops since. Yeah, everyone's so harder to make. They're like they're like limited wide? drops. No, just make something. No, it's not harder to make. No, oh, okay. yeah, just try that, to make. Nothing's, make. nothing's hard for us. <laughs> nothing's hard for us. We do we everything. We make anything. We oh, make. That all easy. Because the clear yeah, saber. Yeah, I was yeah. not expecting oh, that. I was like, that's so much. Sick. It's got a full size. Wait, 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 my birthday's coming up. And the clear saber would look really nice. Has your name on it? Oh, clear, clear saber is pretty, pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I got one right here. Oh, how are you making it light up? Are you pressing something? Are you pressing the button? Yeah, when you like press to heat it, it lights it up. <gasps> that's just dope. That's just sick. That's what goes crazy. Yo, everyone get your clear sabers before fucking buy them out. Before they're yeah. out. Shops right now. Yeah, those are only in shops. Like, oh, really? And we'll have them at the event. Oh, shit. Okay. Dope. That's two days before my birthday. Blink, blink. <laughs> <laughs> It's my 33rd birthday, too. Three is my number this year. So, JR said, Oh, 333. Three, three? Yeah, I know. Three is my number. I keep seeing threes, too. So, three is the magic number. number. Mm -hmm. If it was your 333rd birthday, that'd, that'd be something special, though. Uh, one day, you know. <laughs> Pat saying a clear heiress would be sick, JR. Yeah, yeah. You know, I get a. Uh, I get a lot of feedback from uh, um, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of you know smart people. It's it's good feedback, but uh, I can't I can't make any comments on any of them. <laughs> uh, but what's, what's what's your feedback on on the Eris? You know, like you you got one, you've been you've been testing it out. Do um, you have a favorite feature, or is there like a, a favorite? Uh, um sort of situation you think that it would be perfect for like sam and i were talking earlier about <laughs> ski lift i think was one good one uh comedy club was another good one i can't yeah, remember I feel like but. it's so like sturdy I don't know, like i have because i have the the proxy which i feel it really is so delicate you can't like it's not as portable like the maybe that other part of it is that you could just chuck in your bag but this i feel like you could toss like i could eat it out throw of this in your backpack and yeah you know, it's gonna be fine when but i took it out of the bag i was actually surprised at how heavy it was i think that that was not something i was expecting it to be so like like weighted quality. i think there's a battery pack right i mean it's it's pretty dense we yeah. packed a lot into a really small space and you know, I think that density, it's apparent, like you said, yeah. as soon as you pick it up, you can tell that it's, it, it, there's a lot going on in there. Yeah. I think mine, maybe also, I just have weak arms. It's really easy to like take it off. Yeah. But yeah. I have nails. So everything is harder for me. Just hit it I like a little bit on an angle, like where the, where the top. Oh, I have. see when it like, goes to that like metal part okay yeah, and then you yeah. try to like lift it up i put the, top part, strong, like the neck of it yeah like if you try to pull it off like that you need to ugh, you no gotta, you can like, yeah you can hold it from the from the mouthpiece for sure yeah see i like I to put it on the lid how sturdy it is but um not gonna lie it definitely looks like something that goes in the bedside table <laughs> you know <laughs> you should have you should have seen the extended battery 
Oh, oh no, Sam, oh, not, no. The oh, not the extended battery. Not the extended battery. Before the first the live stream, I went into his office and I saw it and I was like, you need to move that. <laughs> we have it, we have a 3D print of that. <laughs> Oh man! Just send it to me an email because I can't. I need to. I need a visual on that. I'll one. send you a picture. You put it on your card too. You. <laughs> <laughs> it, it comes in. It's shipped in discreet packaging. Don't worry. It's a. Uh, it's safe. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's what I when I first saw it. I was like, okay, all right. It's a little sexy. It's a little sexy. <laughs> it is sexy. On one of the videos, I was going to comment, "Sexy," because it really is. But, yeah, yeah, you need more girlies calling it sexy is. though, because you guys calling it sexy is weird. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like sting. Is yeah. a little sexy it though. Is. She cute. Is. She cute. She is. Eris with a <laughs> screen though would go crazy. You know. We've heard that from the a future. Of future is uh, looking bright. Right. Yeah, you know, I think as as screens get better and batteries get better, you know, we're more able to bring that to devices but <clears throat> you know with with this version we were definitely looking for battery life and just like simplicity and efficiency of course you can you know once you do connect it to your phone you do get all the benefits of you know whatever screen you might need yeah but, i just wish i could see how many dabs i took you know <laughs> i don't now you made it like a thing that i'm like looking right. for like i want yeah. to them so you've been working them, on your like, counter but yeah, you still get I'm your points thinking. so like you connect this to the app you still get your points it updates in, in your app for both devices hard to okay, and yeah. so you're, you're racking up points on both devices yep. so you know just another good reason to break out the app and check the leaderboards every once in a while my goal is to beat stewie but i don't think <laughs> i don't know if i'll ever beat stewie stewie if you're watching I'm trying to be someone you. in like the millions. Like how He's in like the three millions. There's 40 plus people that are over a million. Three million. Oh my god. Oof. Where does the millions come in? Like, how do you get how many a million is now? ten thousand dabs? It counts does the counter run out on the card? I don't know. Like, does it just like it doesn't infinity? Yeah, it's infinity. Oh, um, yeah, we'll keep going. I don't know what the total digit number is that can fit in the. It's more than I'm, five. It, I mean, it's at least five. It's finite. It's finite for sure. It's probably related to like the bit, uh, like uh, a bit value. But if somebody finds it, if anybody actually hits it, um, you know, I think that's worthy of of, of the eyes or something. We need like, we need to pull Preston in <laughs> to confirm. He would know the answer to this question. I guess you could always update the like software to like have more space, right? Like on the numbers, but why well, it clears its history because and then it keeps your counter and knows how many that you've done. Oh shit. That's smart. Yeah. It's there are a lot of smarts to it. I mean, look, we we smart didn't call it for, for nothing. Big brains. Dab smarter. Not harder. And harder. You know, I think uh, they're not mutually exclusive. You can be, you yeah. can go hard in the smartest way. And I think that's sometimes the best way. Are we doing another air stab? Everyone do like a mixture, like do a salad. A salad. Salad of rosins? Yeah. Salad. What's, every, what's everyone's mix? Got to, what's uh, everyone's salad looking like? Clean mine out. There's a little, little shot of the. That's your salad dressing, bro. You gotta keep <laughs> oh, that in there. yeah, you got a little marinade. Got white thorn rose and limosa. Oof, that's gonna be yum. I'm excited to try this. Harder hits harder. I got some gummy runs, lemon pie. And some mystery jars. I like those mystery jars. Those are the best. Yeah, like the label falls off or something, or you just you can't remember where you got it from. Mm -hmm. It's been one you just had for a little bit. You're like, man, what was this again? 
Yeah. Who gave me this jar? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> makes it so much more fun because it's like, the like be so much more involved. It's like the mystery airhead flavor or like the mystery dum dums. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like you taste the terps on this like crazy. Oh yeah. yeah. Dry dabs. Dry dabs are uh super super terpy. Oh I forgot that I cleaned it out. Sorry, I forgot the show. <laughs> Theirs gets you ripped too. It gets you super stoned so Apologize for forgetting to show the after. My bling one is gonna look so cool. You guys are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped to see that. Yeah, I'm, cu I'm curious what uh, kind of adhesive you might use because the surface is fairly non-stick. I know that's the problem. I might need to buff it a little bit. Some kind of prep. There's some sprays. There's some like uh, primer sprays I think you can use. But uh, yeah. How long did the airs take to develop? Says Cody in the chat. Uh, about 16. 18 months, about a year and a half. You know, I mean, it's uh, it was around that time. It was uh, different. Yeah, sometimes progress really isn't like this or <laughs> like this. You know, it can be different parts were developed at different times. Yeah. You got some fans in here, Lila. <laughs> yeah, Jane. Lalo, 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 right? Sorry. Lila. Oh, Lila. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I was coughing. I put myself on mute so everyone didn't have to hear me. <laughs> who's, who's my fan? Oh, Juju. Oh, shout out. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Jason Kinski here for the tuna. The what? <laughs> for the tuna. My, uh, my dad has been making tuna fish for like 30 years. And it's like pretty bomb tuna fish. Oh um, man, so good. I was con so confused at his comment. Thank yeah, I'm really, glad, I'm really glad you explained that, Sam. But <laughs> now that it, it's now that you started, it's the best. Some of the best tuna. Can you get some? Can you bring some back, please, next time? Uh, I I had it. Uh, I had some. He brought some over here, and I ate it already. It um, never lasts. I know. But we have yeah, world famous tuna crackers on the. On the on the live stream, Hell yeah. yeah. It's called, it's called my dad's. He used, to, he used to like always have joints like like rolled in like a cigarette case, like that I would steal from him, and tuna fish. It was like the two things that he would like always have on deck. It was like tuna in the fridge and like joints in his briefcase. Joints and tuna. Oh man, Papa Jack. Those go together. Yeah, for sure. A hundred percent. What would so you know if it was me, it'd probably be like a card of two and like Red Bulls, maybe. <laughs> Are you guys that, all that is there? You JR, right? Yeah, so it's like basically boy breakfast, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, except it's at like 3 30 p.m. Oh. When, I, when I get around to it, boy but. dinner. <laughs> Let's, do you do you have an equivalent, Sam? <clears throat> that I always have, uh, like, yeah. Hash walkers. It'd be like hash walkers and uh, the pressed juice bottles. <laughs> oh my god, the pressed juice bottles! I brought in like two orders of those. <laughs> yeah, lately, yeah, that's 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 been on. Yeah, the juice, juice, juice cleanse. How's that going? For I you? made juice actually in the last round. I made some. I made some myself. I like I had a, a juicer at my house and I made a bunch of juice. Interesting. Which uh, got a little messy, but came out pretty good. What kind of juice was it? Yeah. Uh, it was like a variety. It was like one like uh, carrot beet, one um, kale, green apple, celery. Mm. Mm. Fuck, just that one was good. 
That's love, like anything. That's like, that's like that's like what these juices are. Have you ever Can you seen juice it? those things? What does kale juice taste like? Ew, that sounds so kale, gross. Kale juice, you'd be surprised. Like you definitely need some green apple to like sweeten it up. You like this? It, kale it, chips are good. <laughs> <laughs> This is like you juice a kale. And it is like funny to think about because like what where's like the juice in the kale? But yeah, it does like squeeze some juice out of it. Oh, how's it taste? It tastes good? You like it? It tastes good. Yeah. Oh. If you feel it, it, good like juicing, you just you just have juice. Like so like the ones that I've done, it's like three days of just juice. You don't need so any food. During those three days, you could say you're like Paul. You're vegan during those three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His commitment to the vegan lifestyle is admirable. I Truly. love that for him. <clears throat> Six years is a long time. Oh, is, yeah. ha is hash vegan? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Like, you know, that that's that's that that's the that's, blood, sweat, that's and bread and butter. That's the know? plant that powers Paul the most. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, vegan's hard too, you know. Uh, like vegetarian's hard, but <clears throat> you know, being strict about your diet in general, I think, is something that you know. I, it's I, discipline. I, Paul's yeah. got good discipline. Shout out, Paul. Shout yeah. out, Paul. Ton of respect. Paul's discipline. Get Paul's it, discipline. Grand rising every morning. <laughs> Let's go. Great. He sends like in our company like announcement channel every morning at like five a.m. five to seven a.m. Grand Rising team show or like a variant of that. Oh my god, he's a Grand Rising person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's a Grand Rising. Person. It's not. A, it's not like a picture of his watch or anything, but it might as well be. I just imagine people who say that just like going like this when they wake up, like they're just like rising from the dead. It's just like a very grand. I'm here. I'm awake. That's, that's grand like, Rising. The opposite of a vegan. This is a pure carnivore. <laughs> and he would know, wake up at 5 a.m. with all the energy from being a vegan, right? Like that's right. And then, and then, <laughs> but the, a vampire is like the opposite. Why are we of roasting him on here. We love you, Paul. We love you, Paul. That's why we roast you. Yeah. Paul, it's all Paul, is, Paul is like a reverse vampire. He's up during yeah. the daytime, you know, he's like out with the sun. Um, doesn't eat any milk. He goes, he goes to bed at like eight o'clock and he's waking up at like three in the morning. Yeah, loves, loves garlic, eats like a ton of like, <clears throat> you know, like garlicky stuff. Um, and um, yeah, doesn't doesn't drink blood. <laughs> no blood, no, no meat, no blood for him. Yeah, no, reverse vampire is a good way to put it. That's uh, a compliment, if anything. Oh, I mean, you know, I, it depends on how you feel about vampires, I guess, but. Uh, it's open to interpretation. You know, figs, figs technically, I, I heard. Oh my gosh, we were talking about this earlier. Really? Not the figs. Yeah. talking about stuff. People Is this know. real? Is it? I can't, I can't tell if it's real. Is this a real thing? We're all living in the matrix. What, what's up with the figs? I haven't heard any fig news. Oh my God, tell them the fig thing. It's not news. It's not news. I mean, it maybe it's oh, just. Oh, it's news. It's this is breaking fucking news. Figs. <laughs> and wasps have evolved over like millions of years and they're like there's something called a fig wasp yeah and figs are pollinated by these wasps and then they by, die in there and the wasp crawls in you guys, i can see the screen popping up right now you guys i swear nothing nothing i would never bullshit you guys but the wasp crawls in doesn't oh crawl out and the pollen on its wings is what pollinates that you know there's things like uh <clears throat> There's some plants it goes inside the, the fruit to die. Basically. Correct. Right. Yeah. Like there's some plants that are only pollinated by beetles, right? Because they they predate bees <laughs> and like other flying other other insects. Um, it's a lot of crazy stuff out there, man. In the plant world, in the animal world, it's uh it's some tricky shit. Plants are doing all kinds of things that we don't fully understand. Oh yeah, and like fungus you know like um but like plant like uh so what was it palo santo is like grows in a like a harem or something where there's like one male tree in the middle surrounded by like a ring of female trees um i think i don't know you guys might need to google that one i'm not saying that one for sure but um pretty sure that's the way it works and i never knew that i mean i never really thought about 
things propagating in that way, right? Where Lila, Lila and I and Paul, we were talking about that earlier because we were talking about his veganism and we're like, okay, so like, he was like, don't even get me started about figs because we were talking about honey and like whether he like will eat honey or not because like it's debatable, you know, among mm -hmm. vegans. And then right. we were talking about figs. So that's why when you brought up figs, we were like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so like, it's like also, I guess you know that coffee that like, that like monkeys or like goats eat, you know that one that's like they only eat the like the best berries, and so it makes like the best coffee or something. But that would technically be an animal product too, or if like a if a cow chewed on some grass, <laughs> and then the grass fell out of its mouth. See, there's like it's really? such a blurry line. It's such a <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if it's not killing the animal, it's just like that's a blind for some of them. Well, eggs. What about eggs or milk? Right? There's you got milk. You got dairy, all the dairy stuff isn't really uh, harming stuff, and I think that's where I'm. Yeah. It's like production of products. Honey, honey is essentially a plant product that just you know a bee hung on to for a little bit. You but know? Don't you think the animals want to work a little bit, like like have a job, like you know have a purpose in life? I don't know. It's hard for, me, hard for me to put my head in that space, like the bee space, I guess. But they seem like really efficient, hard workers. I would assume it's it's part of their uh, natural instincts. But I think it's time for another. Other oh, damn. So basically, there would be no fig without a wasp. So uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. It's, figs evolved over a long time. By having by by literally dissolving wasps, and uh, part you know if you if you've eaten a fig, I mean it happens all the time. There's a lot of like insect parts in fruit products and grain products, like that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it just comes with the territory. But this is like part of it. Like that fruit wouldn't have been there if that if the if the wasp didn't sacrifice its life. If it wasn't like, ooh, this is a warm little hole that I can go in and die. Yeah. And it was to do that anyway. Like no one made it do that, you know? So that's why I'm saying like vegans, if that's a choice that the, the wasp made, you should honor mm -hmm. that and not like let it die for nothing. Eat the fucking figs, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I think it's not, a, maybe it's not like a like, clear choice one way or another, but definitely like a conversation, uh, they're asking what animal you would be, Jr. What animal would I be? Ooh. And they're asking to see a melt shot on the heiress. I will. Okay, I'll do a melt shot on the heiress, but I think I have to like talk so that the camera's on me. Um, Does it not show the four view that we see? I see all. No, no. Videos. If you pull up, if you pull up the stream, it uses like audio cues and it cuts to whatever uh, camera. I might be able to change that, but I don't know how to do that right now. Um, I don't know, uh, a shark or something? Uh, a hammerhead shark. Yeah, I'd be a hammerhead shark. Have you ever seen one in real life? Okay, well, I've just... <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make noise. I think I have seen a hammerhead shark. It's hard for me to pinpoint for sure, but I'm pretty sure like in an aquarium or something, I've seen one swimming around. Uh, but I'm old enough to like remember these gummy candies um, that were sharks and the hammerhead ones were the best ones. But also hammerhead sharks, you ever thought about why they have a hammerhead? No honestly i've never thought about it right? like look sharks have been didn't have haven't had to evolve in like millions of years it's literally been the same exact shape and form the most hyper efficient apex predator in the ocean for as long as it can be except the hammerheads got like a completely different sort of approach don't they eat like something else and part of it is because like the eyes are so spread apart but still somewhat forward facing that they have greater like Oh, the vision, there's a yeah. greater overlap, right? Okay. But more importantly, is like the space in between their eyeballs are packed with the with like sensory 
organs or a sensory organ that can detect electromagnetic energy. Like you, oh. you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate that. It literally, you're just, it's picking up on the vibes. <laughs> it, it just, oh. until it like vibes on a clam or something and it'll eat it out of the sand. Um, but yeah, Fish you know, have some crazy capabilities. Oh, dude, anything out of the ocean is, is like, like any like imaginary like magic feature you could think of i feel like the fish they're doing them would uh, you be a water creature ham, too? camouflage so yeah uh, like cephalopod like uh, octopus and i think so squid those guys are crazy squid yeah octopus blowfish electric eels I never thought about a hammerhead shark. I need to do some research. <laughs> yeah, there's... that would be a manta ray. That was so specific. Manta ray is a good one. I was on the spot. I don't know. And there's so Moana's many. Moana's grandma. I can't just pick one favorite of anything. I enjoy the variety of life. So, um, yeah. Are you just, a Libra? That's just what I would do now. Sorry, was I? Are you a Libra? No, no. Oh. I'm, I'm a Leo. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what do, so we gotta go around and guess her? Keep guessing. Let's... Should I guess you? Yeah. Um uh somebody's super smart on this team. So somebody's gotta be an Aries or a Gemini. I don't know who it is yet. Um, I wasn't thinking you were a Leo. That threw me off, but I it's hard. I'm because under. when it comes to astrology, your sun sign is like your least sign that you are. That may be like who your maybe personality is. I don't know. It's hard to see your personality, but your rising sign is more of like who you are, like what, like how you act and how you present yourself in the world. So sometimes I get people's rising signs because that's kind of like what, what you're like doing in life. Um, and then your moon sign is like how you are emotionally. So people maybe that I'm closer with, I can kind of see, feel their emotions and what they're like, how emotionally projecting. Hmm. So it's, it's hard for me to guess. Sun sign. You have a different like what Sagittarius or this or your Aries or like. Yeah, you're usually, you're, you're usually, well, you're, we're made up of all 12 signs. I know some people just think you're just your sun sign, but you have aspects of all the signs in you but their strengths in different areas so yeah. wherever your strengths are kind of what i'm like trying to feel out yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I don't i don't really uh know a whole lot about that but um i'm, I'm interested I'd, I'd be interested in learning more about what uh my sign say about yeah i have to do like a show company reading so oh, that'd be great yeah, yeah, and I'll read the whole team because I think that'd be super cool, like to see like we, what we, advice we I can do. for the event. We should. Okay, do that. yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can totally do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because it's so interesting to see, like, get to know you guys a little bit more, and like, um, I definitely wasn't guessing you were a Leo, but now I see. Now I got to see what the rest of you is. So I'm very interested. Well, okay, let's get back to the animals. Yes, I back to the animals. Shark, Minty, your stingray. You want to? You no, yeah, manta ray. This oh, manta ray. Sorry, sorry, manta ray. Ooh, what's that's a manta cool. ray? Is that different? So, you know Moana's grandma in Moana. That's oh. a manta ray. Yeah. Oh, okay. Imagine, imagine like the biggest, most magnificent looking stingray you've ever seen. I actually got to swim with them, so <gasps> it's pretty cool. Oh, I love that. They, they, they have like such a. Uh, cool calming presence right like the way they like swim like silently and i don't know yeah. what, what what is it about manta rays exactly everything you just said okay. <laughs> That's okay. i was just gonna say too like what is it like what else about them like they're so like they slide through the water they don't even swim they just like fly through it That's so cool Sam, what animal would you be? I'm thinking over here, trying to come up with one. Um, I like dog or like like a cat or a wolf is like kind of like some like okay. either one of those wolf, maybe like some sort of more of a like as I was thinking like lion and like ja like jaguar, but I don't really like I feel more dog type of like. 
than a cat. Than a, you know what I mean? <laughs> so like I would go yeah. more dog, like maybe like okay. a wolf or some some <clears throat> kind of. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of parallels. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, there's a lot of parallels in those animals that I could I could think of, but which what what would you say are like the uh, like qualities that like why why uh, why a wolf? Uh, I mean, wolves are what about, like, about wolves. They're they're loyal. They're reliable. Um, Pack you know, animals. They'll fuck shit up if they have to. Hell yeah. A wolf? Sure. Don't mm -hmm. fuck with a wolf. <laughs> so scary. What about you, Lila? A dolphin. <laughs> I'm in the water with you guys. Um, that's my favorite animal. I think that's the one I resonate with. I like. Don't, I don't want to ruin them for you, but like. No, no, I, no, I won't say anything. Ruin there's, them. Ruin there's, them. There's, 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 a, there's memes that go around, but that story has been. That story has been around for a long time, Minty. You're not talking about the trainer? Oh, no. Well, I know about yeah, that, man. but I'm just talking about, like, in general, like, dolphins oh. can be a little sadistic sometimes. Oh, yeah. Well, look, I mean, with great power comes great responsibility, right? This is the classic Matrix paradox. When, when intelligence comes with, like, a bit of a burden, and dolphins, I think, are some of the smartest creatures not wrong. They're, they're capable of some like real high level all right there's one, there's one study i actually i i heard about where they told a dolphin to do something different something new something they'd never done before and they would reward it right but then they told two dolphins to collaborate on something that was also was new right they introduced this concept of like new to them and they told these two dolphins to do something new together and they like went down and they like you know communicated a little bit and they did something new they did like a completely unique routine um but basically you know that level of collaboration is something that's pretty you know indicative of high intelligence especially like like that quickly right um crazy smart see <laughs> <laughs> so we're all aquatic animals except for <laughs> sam good question rosin tech labs in the chat says i'm as high as a giraffe that's <laughs> that's what it's trying to you know participate that's that's a great way to participate in the animal discussion rosin tech hilarious <laughs> I'm pretty high too. Eris gets you ripped, man. Okay. So yeah. one last rip and then you guys can go into the Q&A. Okay. We got some questions I think left from the Instagram that people might want answered. Cool. I'll take another rip. Uh, you know, if anyone in the chat has any questions to add, we might add, answer those too. <laughs> All right. That click is just satisfies every time. It is. I need to like do an ASMR because like there's so many good sounds, right? Like the battery clicking together too. Oh, it's so crisp. Vibrates. Yeah, it does. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Put a longer vibrate setting on it, just like make it what it is, you know? Yeah, so there's- You can adjust the vibrate setting in the app. Something for the <laughs> can of moms out there. Does it go for five minutes? If you see this in a can of mom sock drawer, remember, it's just a vaporizer. No, if somebody asks, I'm like, uh, no, th it's not what you think it is. <laughs> there's not smoke coming out of this thing. <laughs> When TSA asks you what it is and you need them, <laughs> okay. I think Minty, they, I think won't, even, they won't ask you. I think we know. Why is it in this special little bag? <laughs> we found the next uh, content we need to make. Uh, it involves uh, the TSA. 
and a vibrating Paris. <laughs> no, you need to do like a video of like someone like going in the bathroom with the heiress bag and then like coming out like all disheveled. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> we like that. Like their hair looks all fucked up. Like maybe even two people going in together, two girls <laughs> and two guys going in. And they all come out looking disheveled. Like what's going on in there? <laughs> I love I love that idea. I shoot it. Mm -hmm. Next next commercial, we'll, we'll get uh we'll get our top guys right on that. Minty, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remind you. I'll text it to you. <clears throat> the next the next elevator commercial. Is going to be a different kind of commercial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Macy, Macy likes the idea too. Good. Thanks, Macy. Good taste. Oh well, that was great. You and I. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oops. All right, should we, uh, are we going to, Minty, are you going to be serving us the questions or? Yeah, so one of the questions that Instagram has for you guys is, does the dry, like, will, can they use dry herb with it? Yes, dry herb atomizers are compatible with airs. You know, I think the, the experience is, optimized for the oil atomizer and i think works the best but you will get about at least the same experience that you would get on a carta um with the heiress uh using a dry herb vaporizer sorry dry herb atomizer <laughs> and then when is the wireless charger going to be available for customers wireless charger will be available for customers in uh february yeah it's coming up coming up <laughs> yeah that's like right around home. january is almost over 2024 is ticking by like super We're fast cruising. yeah february and then we talked a little bit uh about this earlier in the live but maybe for some people who missed it like just glass attachments yeah, I saw I saw you were hitting uh, the Enjoy and Prosper attachment at the event last night, and we were yeah. talking earlier about how how quick how quick so that came out. We were taking bets, like, but we no, we didn't, definitely didn't think it was going to be one day. But yeah, it it hit really nice. Um, it hit really nice, and Alex from Enjoy and Prosper made it in one day. Um, so that was pretty cool, and. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to have um, a piece, uh, adapter piece, to make it easier for glass artists to make attachments. Um, but it's cool to see already glass attachments being made, and that thing worked great without any adapter. Yeah, I mean, what a beast to do that in a day and, and then uh, <clears throat> drive it out to the event and, um, you know, have it ready is, like, super cool. Um, and yeah, there's been been some other I think artists that have started making some attachments. So that's kind of the fun part is activating the community and and, and seeing what you know people come up with and and how they use their heiress and make it more their own. Uh, it's one of the most exciting things I think from my end, putting these things out there and and then seeing how they grow up and see how people adopt them into their lives. You know. Yeah. 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 And then people are asking if the airs is going to be easy to clean. Yeah. Um, I mean, <clears throat> the, maybe the easiest. Um, I use like one side of a Q-tip to swab up after a dab if there's any like leftover. And that's pretty much it. Uh, <clears throat> there's no like water to fill or, or, or dump out or um, that gets dirty. You know, you, you still want to maybe do a deep clean with the mouthpiece every 25 to 50 dabs and then, you know, make sure that you keep all the contacts clean and 
um, do the regular maintenance, but normal everyday kind of sesh maintenance. It's like just one Q-tip and you're good to go. Yeah, as long as you're like swabbing it out after every dab, it's never like really been an issue. I've dabbed like a whole gram. The, piece, the pieces all come apart, so you can pop the inner mouthpiece, insert out. You can take the atomizer, unscrew it, and do a deep clean if you need to. But it's definitely the easy. It's easier than a carta to clean. You don't have to worry about the glass. I yeah, need to drop this right now, so. And and you can do you know what I do with the carta is like keep an extra carta glass or keep an extra mouthpiece around that way you'll always have like a clean fresh one um, you know even if you're doing maintenance on another one. Uh, you're muted, Minthia. Question from the chat. <laughs> J3F is asking, is there anything with the airs that he should absolutely not do? Yeah, I got some advice. Um, don't just plug it into like random power supplies, you know, um, use the recommended power supply, use something that you know is giving you you know, five volts, two amps, um, your computer, your laptop and your, or your desktop or like some random like port at the airport or something. Um, probably not the most reliable. So that's just like a small tip, but I think I don't. Also just be conscious of what you have in your atomizer. And if it's like, there, you've taken a dab and it's still hot. You don't want to tilt it upside down. It'll just make a mess inside the mouthpiece. So just, you know, be conscious of what's in your atomizer. Clean it out after you use it. Yeah, this is just like a carta. You wouldn't take a carta. And you don't want to rip this, have it like some dab or reclaim like left in the bucket and then throw it in your bag. Like right. clean, clean it first. Yeah, the bottom, the bottom is uh, nice and flat so that it can stand up. Um, so it's stand up nice and vertical and keep everything upright. And then people, the big question is when is Ares going to be restocked since we're sold out? <laughs> three weeks, a couple weeks, two to three weeks, but definitely in February. Yeah, the they they flew. Um, you know, like I was saying before, the response was great. I think um, you know, the community and the market in general was ready for this device or you know, a device like this. And um happy to happy to be the ones to bring it to you guys. And on that note, shall we take one last dab for the road? Sounds great. I it's been a good time, guys. You did beat me to it. Oh, dabs on both heiresses. Double dab. Oh my gosh, take dabs from both your heiress and your card. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> no, I'm trying to live tonight. No, I'll do it. The I uh, out a challenge. Uh, I was on uh, my Instagram that the the heiress actually fits into the carta um, oh. pretty, pretty nicely. Oh, they fit together? Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> at the least, it's just kind of a convenient base if you have a carta base. <laughs> you want to stand up your air, keep your heiress upright or get a little different ergonomics going. This thing gets more and more sexual every time you <laughs> think it with it. I <laughs> did not need to do that. <laughs> you know, some people see some people see a train going in a tunnel. You know, some people see something else. <laughs> like a perfect holder. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Okay. We're all double fisting right now? Yeah, I'm packing my Paris again. Let's go. Double dabs, let's go. Okay. Wow, no way to engage. Uh, Mike just ran right. out of battery. Oh, yeah, mine shit. ran out of battery too, but luckily I just I swapped. I got batteries. On but deck. your backup okay. batteries? Yeah. Well, I haven't gotten any backup batteries yet. Oh, again. All right. How do I turn mine off flower mode? It turned on flower mode. It turned on flower mode. Uh, turn it. Have you yeah. tried turning it off and then back on? You're going to want to make sure your atomizer is uh, screwed on tight. See. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know that. <laughs> Sam got clouds. In there. <laughs> oh, 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 damn, Sam. That was a big ass cloud. For the biggest clouds, make sure you flutter your car cap. Pro tip. Flutter. Yep. Carter hits harder. Carter hits harder. So. <laughs> We need one for Eris. Eris hits harder too. Eris. Um, I've thought of a few, but none of them are that good. <laughs> There's one that makes a reference to being higher than Polaris. Um, um, I don't know. I got a bunch in like my Slack, but I think we should probably. We'll save that for next stream. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, uh, we, that'll be a whole segment on next stream. Yeah. We, we should maybe mention the uh, LA event. Maybe a little more info about the LA event. Um, LA events on the twenty seventh. We will we will be selling Eris there. We will have Eris units at the LA event. We got like forty RSVP. available. So like you better show maybe, up. Maybe less on time and like go straight <laughs> to the line you're trying to get one because they're sold out on lines but... all right peace guys thank you guys good night thank everyone you. thank you Lila. Thank you guys. thanks thank Lila. you bye guys we'll see you guys peace. next time <laughs>